What's up guys, Ridge the Wiz here. Today we're going to be working on my 2001 Audi A4 and I'm going to show you how to activate certain convenience features that may not have been active in your region. Now this is a US spec Audi A4 2001 and one of the things that it didn't come with originally was the convenience windows, the ability to roll your windows up and down for example. Uh, there are other convenience features such as the doors unlock when you pull your key out and the doors automatically lock when you're doing a certain speed. Um, and one of the other ones that I really like is the one where you press the button once on your remote and all the doors unlock at the same time. That's especially helpful if you got like a family or in this case my wife. She likes to come with me a lot. So today I'm going to show you how you can use a couple of simple tools to activate these features. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need is one of these USB OBD2 connectors that uh, are compatible with uh, VAG vehicles or VAGCOM as other people like to say it. And you're also going to need a laptop or some other interface. And the interface that I'm gonna be using or the software I should say is for, uh, called VCDS Lite and this is from Ross Tech. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let's plug in our OBD2 reader into our laptop. Next, let's plug this into the OBD2 port under the dash. Now that that's plugged in, Let's go ahead and launch VCDS Lite and turn our car to the run position. Now let's hop over to VCDS Lite and let's go ahead and test some of the options, okay? So if we go into options, let's go ahead and test that we have a good connection. And this status here means that VCDS Lite can use our dongle, our connector, and also read from the car. So this is great. If you guys are struggling with figuring out which COM port to use, uh, let me know and I might do another video on how to uh, resolve issues like that. Uh, so let's click apply. Next, let's go over to uh, select control module. Now, the control module that we're going to be modifying today is 35 uh, center locks. VCDS is going to read the values that we have from here. Okay. Next, we're going to click on 07 recode. Now, my car, my car already has uh, these codes modified, uh, but I'm going to reset mine to original so that we can do this completely from start to finish. So if we go to Ross Tech, we can see that for my specific vehicle, the original code is 16140. So I'm going to take that code and apply it. So we're all starting from the same spot. Yours might be different depending on what region you're in and what features were available for your car. I'm gonna click do it to reset. I'm gonna go back into recode. And now we're set to 16140. All right, next, let's go ahead and add the first convenience feature, which from Rostec's website, this is the windows up, sunroof close, and windows down with remote. So basically what you wanna do is take your initial coding and add the number 64 to it. So 16140 plus 64 is going to be 16, two zero four i'm going to go ahead and click do it 
and I'll do these one at a time. Technically, you can add all the numbers up that you want or subtract the numbers, whatever you want, specifically for your vehicle. And you can uh, do it all in one go, but I like to do them one at a time. Now, normally I would be testing these features each time as I go through this. So that means turning the car off and pulling the um, the OBD2 uh, reader out and testing, but I know that this is gonna work for my car, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. When you first start doing this, always write down your initial code for your vehicle in case you need to reset it. So the next feature that I wanna activate is the one touch unlock of all four doors and the trunk. So if we go to Rostec's website, this is going to be a minus four to what we've currently done. So that's gonna be 16,200. Now that that one's complete, let's go ahead and add the next feature. So this is plus 32 auto lock slash unlock of doors. The doors will lock at 15 miles per hour and unlock when the key is removed. So pretty simple. Let's go back to recode. And this is going to be 16 to 32, which is the same number that we had when I first started this. Okay, and I'm gonna go and click on recode just to make sure that the number stuck. And it sure did, 16232. So I'm gonna click cancel. I'm gonna close the controller and go back to the home screen. And I'm going to exit out of VCDS Lite. And then I'm also going to turn off the car and remove the OBD2 reader. Now let's test to see if these features are working. As you can see, the windows are currently open. I'm going to try closing them with the remote. Okay, they all closed. Uh, now I'm gonna try and open all the windows with the remote. Excellent, so all those rolled down. The sunroof doesn't open with that feature, uh, but I could also see that all the doors unlocked at the same time. So we definitely know that this worked. All right guys, that's pretty much it. It's really simple to activate these features. I think they're super useful. This works on a wide variety of Audi and Volkswagen and any VAGCOM vehicle. Um, I've done similar modifications to my father's Audi TT. Um, so I think this is a great tool to have and customize your car the way you want. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I would love to help you as best that I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.